My name is Marcus Method, I'm a visual artist and I'm here doing a mural for Unipol. Yes, it's my full-time job, so I've been a visual artist for four or five years full-time, something like that. I used to work in architecture, so I was like in an office nine to five. I re didn't really like that, so to be able to do this is, yeah, it's amazing. I sort of started doing this sort of thing through doing like conventional graffiti sort of stuff, uh, probably when I was about 15, and then just slowly progressed, started doing bigger murals and getting more into painting characters and then patterns and just progressing to what I'm sort of doing today. I'm Lottie Morton and I'm our delivery officer at Unipol, so I'm responsible for our sustainability operations. We have about 16,000 bed spaces in Leeds and I was a student at the University of Leeds and in my final year I worked with Unipol as um, one of the executive officers at the Students' Union and just really got involved in all the positive work that they do. <laughs> excited to be working with a local visual artist on this project to bring a bit of the tropics to city centre Leeds and this bold colourful design is Marcus's vision of a inner city tropical um, oasis so we're really hoping that this will encourage the students at Mill Street to use the space a bit more during the summer and bring a bit of brightness to the space during the winter as well. But to be fair I like the fact they're using kind of brighter colours in it. it, looks really nice. It just creates a nice environment. I say bright. I love it. It's so colourful, we needed it. Yeah, I think it's quite important to have stuff like this. I think it's what it needs. You don't want to live somewhere that's very dull, do you? It makes quality life better. I'm definitely going to take a photo by that. That is amazing. Yeah, so this is actually our second large mural project. We're just in the process of finalising one at Oak House, which are other new development. One problem that we've identified was there was a lot of graffiti and, and tagging around some of our properties. So we work quite closely with local residents and the council, um, and this is something that really benefits them and something they wanted to see as well. So we really pride ourselves in being able to have a positive impact, not just for our students and tenants, but also for the wider community around us. <laughs> A lot of my work takes reference from different things, so I've got like a series that's about human form, like the human body, so it references shapes in the body, things like that. I've got another one that's on architecture, so it'll reference shapes within architectural elements of buildings and things. This piece is in reference to plant elements. There's a lot of tropical plants on this side, and then we're going to go more native plants on the other side of the wall. And the reason for that was to fit in with garden elements where we are, fit in with the feel of the outside area. I think when you're travelling around a city and you, you see a nice wall, a, a gable end, the side of a tower block that's flanked with no windows or anything, you think, yeah, you. That, that's something I'd like to paint. I wonder who you could get in touch with to do it. Yeah, you sort of do look around and see all these, these spots and what could be done with the world.